Hi, I'm Ray. Well, I'm at home in the greenhouse today. It's typical, it's a Saturday morning and it's November and it's raining. So not much allotment time going on. But one job I do want to do is plant some broad beans, also known as fava beans. And we're now in November and there is some varieties of board beans that we can sow in autumn and these are Aquadols Claudia and I bought these from the local garden nursery and they were just £1.50 for that nice little bundle of seeds and they all look pretty good and these are great for overwintering and they grow up to around 80 to 90 centimetres and very terrific growing and can overwinter during the cold, the frost. So they're great for a head start. So we can start some of these in cell trays or modules or even just using a pot. They can be directly sown but there is a high chance Hungry mice or little critters will come and munch before the spring. So I'm just doing a few in cell trays. I'm just filling a cell tray full of multi-purpose compost. There we go. And then all we do is we get our beans, we just plant one bean per cell. I tend to plant mine on the side, I don't think it makes much difference. And there we go. All the beans on the tray, and then I'm covering up with more multi purpose. These can sit quite happily in a greenhouse, and they will probably do just as well sat outside in a garden in a slightly sheltered area, just keeping away from the critters. And all this does is gives us a bit of water and that can sit happily in the greenhouse or on a conservatory and there we go. I'm also, as I'm unsure about the allotment situation, I'm going to grow some in this tomato planter and this is a kind of a direct sowing. And I've got these frames that the tomato plants grow through and it'd be great for the broad beans to grow up and then grow in between the holders. And I've got a selection of broad beans for at home. So I'm going to do the same process in this pot, which is just filled with multi-purpose compost. And I'm just adding a bean, if planting direct sowing. They can be planted about seven to nine inches apart. And I'm just going to hopefully grow two of these up each side and then I'm going to cover it with some more compost and there we go. And this can maybe from my home garden as we're not quite sure with the allotment situation going on what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get some at home and hopefully we can get some board beans early started by spring. So there we go. Just a couple of quick jobs and it's good to get things going on a miserable day like today. So let me know in the comments. Have you grown any board beans or fava beans? Let me know in the comments and what varieties have you grown? 
and if you're new to my channel please subscribe ring that bell get notifications when I post some more I'm looking forward to some nice lovely board beans in the springtime cheers